Good morning. I'm going to be working uh, in this eight-part video series on a Pontiac Aztec, a 3.4 liter um, GM engine, V6, uh, where coolant has worked its way into the oil. It's got to be fixed. <laughs> it's a bad thing. So uh, it's, in, it's a problem on these cars is the uh, lower intake uh, manifold gasket uh, that leaks, it corrodes and leaks. And uh, we're going to be getting down to that. It's like I'm peeling an onion, though. There's layers and layers and layers of components that have to come off of here. And um, we're going to start basically by uh, just the basics. We're going to drain the oil, drain the coolant, uh, remove, uh, disconnect the battery, remove the serp belt. Um, then we have to just get things out of the way. The spark plug wires are in the way. We'll move those. We'll take a 10-wire harness, big wiring harness, unplug everything and move that out of the way. Disconnect the throttle and cruise cables those out of the way. Alternator battery plus line will be moved out of the way. Then we can start removing a few components. We'll take an uh, in intake air duct off and um, maybe the evaporative purge solenoid in this particular part will get off. And then um, and we'll move on. You know, I've got this all pieced out in usable pieces so that uh, it might be uh, convenient for users to find what they want. Um, I should mention also the 3.1 is very, very similar. I've done this job on a 3.1. And uh, you could use much of this material if you have that engine uh, that you're working on as well. So uh, good luck and thanks for watching. Okay, so there it is, 3.4 liter V6. And uh, the job is going to be to remove a great many components, and get some of the wiring and such out of the way so we can get this plenum off. And after that, um, we'll dig down in deeper. Um, what I'm going to do is set this thing up on, on uh, ramps so that we can uh, get it up a little bit higher, more comfortable working surface. So this is another example of a harder uh, operation to do than it is on most cars. I'm trying to get it loose enough to pull off this battery negative. All right, there it's off. Let's get it down underneath here. Okay, let's get this contaminated oil out of here. It's a 14 millimeter drain plug. So I took out the oil and kind of see in a certain light the coolant in here. Kind of right in this area right here. It isn't like there's a lot of it in there, but any amount is too much. I mean, see down in here. Also there you can see inside the filler cap. That light colored sludgy looking deposit on there. Okay, so let's get this oil filter out of here. There it comes. When the oil filter comes out, it's often a little bit unpredictable. Okay, so here's the petcock uh, for the coolant. So I loosen this up with a blow dryer, because sometimes these things stick. So there's our coolant. It's pretty much done now. And uh, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take out the serpentine belt. What you need is an adapter here. That's what I'm using anyway. There's this 3 8 inch square hole down there. And um, i got a half inch adapter here that's going to work for this. So I'm just going to reach down here. find our square hole down at the bottom and now we'll just get a breaker bar and move that. There's plenty of room in here for that. Okay, now with our breaker bar down here, lift this up, remove the tension. Okay, I'm going to slip it off the uh, power steering pump first. Now it came off the alternator. And I got it off everything, now I'm just slipping it up. That's a long surf belt. Okay, we're going to unwire the alternator, and there's just two connections here. 
um, you take this cover off here and you take the nut off for the B plus, battery plus, and then we'll be able to get this this cable off the top of the plenum, pull it back. That's just a 13 millimeter and a three inch extension on there. And this little harness right here, you just get a screwdriver in there and push down on it. A little little holder I should say in a harness. And then we can take this out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna start on this side here, on the air intake side, um, with spark plug wires. And actually they're in the way here, so we're gonna what I'm gonna do here is just mark each one of these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll also mark the, uh, we pull these out. Let's mark underneath here as well. This one will be one. Well, no, we know it's left to right, one through six. Okay, left to right, one through six. Get them all out of there. This coil, this coil pack is kind of mounted right to, you know, right to the, the intake plenum here, so it's got to come out, completely come out of the car. Okay, so now on the, on the end of this is a little clip that you have to depress and pop that lever up. Okay. Again, we'll pull these three out of the way. So now we're going to do these connectors here. We've got this big harness, and we're going to try to get everything off of it. So what I've done here, to aid me in reassembly, I just have some uh, adhesive file folder labels. I'm going to wrap those around each wire, and then, and then probably with a sharpie, just put a number on the component, just to make it easier and faster to put it in. Most of these are, are cut to the right exact right length anyway, but that helps us make sure we don't miss anything, and it sure certainly speeds it up on reassembly. So here's number one on the intake side. Number two. All right, looking for number three. Here's number four right here. Let's pull it out. Number five is down here. Get a long screwdriver in here. Get this lodge to this one. I'm gonna have to get this one off camera. Okay, I've managed to dislodge it. There it is. Okay, so this one you got to kind of get down on one end and up on the other. My forefinger here. Oh, it comes. Now uh, there's our number six. Okay. okay, this one right here to the right of the coil assembly. It's a bit of a reach to get into. Just got to lift up on it. Hey, there, I got it out of there. That one right there. It's number seven. Persuade it up. This will be some fun to plug back in, too. It looks like it's coming. Yeah. And then we've come to a little cable router here. Down there. And on from there, it looks like there's just two or three more. Okay, here's going to be an easy one. The alternator control wire. We'll call that one number eight. Okay, now there's one down here to the left side of the coil assembly. Fairly easy one. Go down to number nine. So all that remains is this one. I'm just going to unplug it. Apparently at one time it was 
had a panel fastener type connector and probably somebody took this apart before and it goes, actually belongs underneath here down in the, underneath the coil okay we're going to get this apart and uh, that'll be our tenth one take our connector our harness get it out of the way okay let's remove this piece of tubing here from the uh, intake duct and twist it off off to the side here okay continuing to unpeel this okay, taking it off this winder now and the throttle first we're going to do the cruise and it's just a plastic it just snaps over this little knob on here see that's off now on the throttle you've got to pull this back far enough if you can see that get the cable out then there's a barrel shaped end of it Oops. So we have to pull out like so. Okay, now underneath here, we just have to uh, squeeze these and lift them up. And the throttle cable will come through there. Now on the other side, I'm using these offset needle nose pliers. Squeeze it on both sides. Push up. That was a bit of a struggle. So here's a look at the throttle cable. And you can see how um, you have to get in there and squeeze these. Okay, everything's off this air duct now. So we should be able to uh, get it out of the way. Kind of looking for a little more room here. I think I'm just going to take it entirely out for that reason. if we can. Okay, there's precious little room in here, but you can. There's some judicious prying. Pull out this piece of ducting. Okay, next we're going to go after the um, evaporative canister purge solenoid valve. It's a mouthful. And there's one 10 millimeter bolt that hooks that onto the intake onto this plenum. That's why it has to come off. Okay, here's a close-up look at it. There's a vacuum line coming in. 10 millimeter here. And there's also um, a line here. Not sure how this connector comes off. See this right here? That, that must go to the canister. It wouldn't be too hard to just set this thing aside. And just leave it hang there, which is what I might do. Okay, so I'm just using this. Get a little uh, universal on there. That'll fit in there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this. The less you can disconnect, the better. Keep this, see if I can keep this bracket in here. So I'm going to just loosen these two 10 millimeter um, bolts here, and um, then I should be able to get this vacuum line that goes over here to the PCV valve and the other end over to the EVAP, and then we'll just set these off to the side. Okay, so I'm just going to loosen these, just get enough play to get this vacuum line out of the way. Some of the basic policy to take out of them is as little as you have to. Take out what you have to here. Let's see what we can. Yeah. Let's here. Let's just this by here. Yeah, no harm, no foe. Let's get that out of the way. Now we can pull it out of the. Pull the PC, PVC valve out. And, uh. Set all these guys off to the side. Yeah, get them out of the way. 
Okay, that concludes part one. Um, looking ahead to part two, now we're going to strip this down further. Now the EGR valve is going to come out. Um, but first, uh, to get a little, make, give us a little bit more room, um, we're going to take out the MAP sensor um, right here, as well as the coil assembly. Well, there's some vacuum and brake lines that'll come off. And finally, in this episode, we'll get the uh, upper plenum or upper manifold removed.